guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to be dealing with female size charts now earlier on i made a video on female size charts which is just like the basic and you guys really love the video and you guys demanded that i made like a comprehensive one where i showed you guys about your time measurements and every other measurements you need for your female size charts like salt you add to your soup okay so you need size charts for basically like every outfit you are making all you have to do is to grab a book and a pen and just sit down and i'm also going to say that please follow us on facebook tg designs on instagram cg designs i'm going to put the description the details in the description box below and let me also say that if you are not following me on facebook you are missing because i also post sewing tutorial on my facebook page which is also like a medium for you to learn one or two so the link on that is also going to be in the description box below so all you have to do is to please follow up the series and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any question in the course of this tutorial you know how we do it go ahead and put it down in the comment section and let me know what topic you want us to create a video on so let's go ahead now with our size chart so looking at this now i have from size 4 to size 24 which is actually like a whole lot and even like a size 24 covers like bust area of 50 something which is usually like basically all the sizes for female size charts and for this first part now we have our bust waist hip and our shoulder measurements which is the first serial you know the first badge of this series i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say but aside that you guys i'm so cute let me know in the comment section what you guys think do you think i'm beautiful of course i am put it down in the comment section okay <laughs> so let's go ahead now and get serious so let's go ahead now and calculate the measurement so just in case if you see me trying to look down i have my comprehensive size charts here and i'm also going to say that the comprehensive size chart is available for sale so one reason why you need to purchase this comprehensive size chart is that it is so detailed like it is so detailed you guys can imagine by the end of this tutorial i'm sure you can even have like an insight of how the comprehensive size charts will be so the link in order for you to place your order for the size charts is going to be in the description box below please go ahead and check it out and i'm also going to be running discounts on the on the size chart which is going to be a comprehensive one so please go ahead check out the description box place your order and have a copy of the comprehensive size chart i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say so the bust measurement for a size 4 is 34 inches the bust measurement of a size 4 is 34 inches now the waist measurement of a size 4 is 26.5 inches 26.5 the hip measurement of a size 4 is 36 inches. Now note that this is a US size chart. This is a US size chart, okay? Now the shoulder measurement is the shoulder, the shoulder measurement is 14 inches. So this the shoulder measurement for a size 4 is basically 14 inches. So with this now you have like a template of what we have so i'm going to go ahead now and build the rest so the next one we have now is size six so for your size six your bust measurement should be 36 inches for size six your bust measurement is 36 inches for size eight the bust measurement is 38 inches the bust measurement for size 8 is 38 inches for size 10 we have 40 inches for size 10 we have 40 inches for size 12 we have 42 inches this is the bust measurement now for size 14 we have 44 inches we have 44 inches for size 16 we have 47 
inches now if you discover from your bust 4 to your bust 14 we're basically adding 2 2 inches to the bust measurements you know we have 34 we move to 36 we have 38 but for the lower parts this is because you know measurements from this lower part are usually uh, on a big size right so you have to like add more for the bust room allowance do you guys get it so we have 47 so for a size 18 we have 50 for size 18 we have 50 for size 20 we have 53 for size 20 we have 53 for size 22 we have 56 size 22 we have 56 size 24 we have 58 now from your size 4 to your size 14 we're basically adding 2 2 inches to it why from your size 16 downward we're adding three inches like i said for the room allowance of the bust now most times people who are under 24 and 26 are like you know just a little difference you get what i'm trying to say but i really want to know what size you are in the comment section so now let's move to the waist part of this tutorial which is usually like the smallest part so most times the waist is usually like the smallest part of a female body however because a lot of women go through you know childbirth and so many other health issues or so many natural issues there is also tendency that your waist might be bigger than your bust so this is not to say that you know you have any form of inf inferiority complex you guys should be so proud of your body you're a woman you are beautiful you are unique you are amazing your body is perfect your body shape is perfect so i hope this also encourage someone who is feeling a little bit down about how she feels please be encouraged and be proud of your body okay so um so now we have our waist measurements. The first one is 26.5. The next one we have is 28.5. The next one we have is 28.5. Now we are going to add 2 inches or so. We have 30.5. By the time you add another 2 inches, we have 32.5. 32.5 add another two inches you have 34.5 now we've gotten to the point where we are going to do what we are going to increase it but we increasing it in the waist measurements don't be too fast <laughs> we have 34.5 the next one now is 37.5 37.5 and then for our size 16 we have 39 size 16 waist we have 39 now the next one is the next one is 42 so we have 42 and for size 20 we have 45 for size 20 we have 45 for size 22 we have 48 and for size 24 we have 50 inches so this is basically like your waist measurement for you know all the sizes so so the next one now we have is our hip measurement so for most women the hip measurement is usually like the largest part of the measurement because you guys know now we have backside if you know you have backside shake it and if you have front shake it <laughs> So anyway, for most women, the back side, which is like your hip measurement, is usually like the largest part of your body. And why for some, the bust is the largest part of the body. Whichever one you fall into, you are beautiful, okay? <laughs> so now, let's go to the hip measurements. We have 36. The next one now is going to be 38 inches. We are also going to add 2 inches now we have 40 inches for the hip now for the next size we have 42 then you add your two inches we have 44 you add your two inches you have 44 from size 14 so basically from size 14 it usually have like little little changes okay so now for size 14 we have 48 for size 16 we have 50 inches for size 18 we have 53 inches 
for size 20 we have 56 inches for size 22 we have 59 and for size 24 we have 62 inches so these are the hip measurements for your size charts like i said the hip measurement most times are usually like the largest part of your body however let me know in the comment section what where is your largest part do you think is the hip or your bust measurement you can go ahead and put it down in the comment section and also let me know and also let me know your size in the comment section i'm also going to explain something about the size once i'm done with the shoulder part so now for the shoulder measurement for size 4 our shoulder is 14 for size 6 our shoulder is also 14 inches for size 8 we have 14.5 inches for size 8 now for size 10 for size 10 we have 15 inches for size 10 we have 15 inches for size 12 we have 15.5 for size 14 we have 16 inches now we have 16.5 so we are basically just adding 0.5 to our shoulder measurements now from size 18 we have 18 inches for size 20 we have 18.5 inches for size 22 we have 19 inches and for size 24 we have 19.5 inches so these are what you have for your bust measurements waist measurements hip and your shoulder for all these sizes like i'm also going to say that you know this is what you have now is okay so i also need to say that it is 100 percent possible for you to fall within two sizes so there are some females or there are some women that you know looking at this size chart your your measurement falls across a particular size so let's say for an example looking at size six inches you can see that your bust might be 36 your waist might be 28 your hip might be 38 inches it simply means that you fall on one side so you can say that oh i'm a size 6 i'm a size 10 i'm a size 12. however there are people who fall between two sizes now for those people now we have the upper body and the lower body so the upper body is your bust and your waist measurements while the lower body is your hip measurement this is because they they are females or women who have a very big large back side or they have a very big front side you know either the front or the back you are endowed you are unique you are special okay be proud of it so for people like that it is okay to fall into two sizes so you can say for my upper body i'm size 16 and for the lower body i'm size 20. you get it so with that it means that your lower body hip measurement is where you have size 20 where for the upper part upper body can be size 16 while your lower body can be size 18 you know it simply means that where your hip measurement falls is where you have your you know um, size 18 while your upper body falls in size 14 so in that case all you have to do is i am size 16 for the upper body and size 18 or size 20 for the lower body which is actually fine or you can also fall where all the measurements which is both your bust your waist and your hip are also in a particular size and i also have to say that you know the fact that this is a size chart also means that there are people who have little little difference so for an example your bust can be 36 and your waist can be 28 instead of 28.5 so with that also it's okay for you to also fall in two sizes i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say but I know you guys will get it so in that case now it is actually fine but the most important thing is that the difference between one size and your size shouldn't be more than 0.5 what i mean by that is if i'm size 6 my bust is 20 36 inches my waist can be 28 instead of 28.5 it simply means that i am still a size 6 regardless of the 0.5 inches and i also have to say that all the measurements here are in inches and these are u.s size charts now please go ahead and patronize and purchase your comprehensive size charts 
I cannot lay emphasis on that comprehensive size chart enough because you guys are really going to love it and you just have to download it once you make your order it will be downloaded to your email everything is on the website and I'm going to put the link of the website in the description box below if it's something you're interested in which I know you should go ahead and buy it it's actually very cheap one thing I'm going to say is that when you are taking measurements for male or for guys please go ahead and make sure that your tape measure is not fitted so you are not taking your measurement like very fitted it's usually very free on like the female body when you are taking their measurements i also have a video on how to take your body measurements for male i'm going to link it on the screen and also in the description box below please go ahead and watch the video in order for you to really understand how to take proper measurements for male so one essence about having your size chart is that it enables you to walk and also to like make dresses for male without having or without having to take their measurement directly on their body so with your size chart basically you can produce your dress or your outfits so for guys it's outfits so for size chart generally you can produce like your outfits for them so this video now we have shoulder chest waist and hip why the second part of so let's go ahead now and get it so for our shoulder now we have 16.5 for extra small for our small we have 16.9 for the medium we have 17.3 for our large we have 17.7 .7. now the next one we have so for the next one now which is our 2xl 2xl is also xxl okay so for that we have 18.1 the next one we have 18.5 we have 2xl here because i'm going to explain that later now for 3xl which is xxxl we have 19.3 for the fourth one we have 20.1 20.9 21.7 so this is for the shoulder measurements you can see and basically the reason why we have to xl is that it's just like having like a big you know like when it comes to sizes you can be a big 42 or a big 41 like for shoe size so for this now we have two xl however most times they are usually the same thing so let's go ahead now and get our chest our chest is 36 Point five for extra small why for small we have 38 the next one we have 40 42 42.5 44 46 we are just adding two inches 48 50 and 52 so we are basically just adding we are basically just adding two inches for the chest now our waist measurement now we have 30 we have 30 32 34 36 we are just adding two inches 38 40 42 43 44 and 46 so this is what we have for the chest now another thing also is that when you are taking measurements for guys or for male please your tape measures should be, should be very free okay it's not fitted like the female measurements another thing again is that you also agree with me that there are some men that have pot belly that have big belly that is the belly is bigger than the chest so for such men you are going to use the waist measurement to place them on a particular size so when you are dealing with men that have big belly or pot belly you will use the waist measurement which is their belly to place them on a size because their belly is the biggest part of their upper bodies why for men that have six packs and heavy chest if the chest is the biggest part of their body you will use the chest measurement to place them on a particular size and most times because men dresses are always very free it actually sits well okay it actually sits well because it's a free dress so if normally for female now for a female dress normally if your boss is 36.5 you are going to be using extra small but for male they can use small or medium for a guy that has a chest of 
36.5 can use small medium because your tape measure is not fitted so by the time you add allowance to your tape measure the person will fall under small or medium so just take note of that also now we'll go ahead now and get the hip so the hip of course you guys know what hip actually means <laughs> you know what hip actually means right so let's go ahead now and get our hip so the hip now the next one the first one we have is 36.5 we are adding two inches as usual. We have 38, 40, 42, 42.5, 42.5. We have 44, 46, 48, 50, and 54. So you also this is what we have for the hip area this is the measurement for the hip measurement for waist chest and shoulder like i said when you are taking measurement for guys their shoulder usually drops and please go ahead and watch that video on how to take body measurement for male i'm going to link it on the screen and also in the description box it will enable you to know how to take your measurements you know on a male body but if you are working with size charts which i feel like you need to step up your game everyone should have a size chart it gives like a guide on measurement to use to create outfits for men either you're creating ready to wear outfits or you're creating um native outfits it just guides you and like i said earlier the size charts the comprehensive size charts which is a whole lot is available and the link is going to be in the description box below now this is basically what we have so this 3xl can also you know be xxxl so basically just like xxxl you can just change like this two three four five to roman numeral basically so I remember I just said that I was going to explain that so please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section join us on Facebook TG Designs on Instagram TG Designs and also watch the next series of this meal chart so the next series of this meal chart I'm just gonna give you like an in of what we have in the next series so that you guys will definitely watch it so in the next series now we are going to talk about your time measurements which you know that time measurements are very important for male because it enables you to to know the measurement to use for the trousers we have the cuff area that is if you are making your dress the cuff area for their sleeve you need to know the cuff measurement to use for a male sleeve you also need your neck measurements and your sleeve measurements so this is what we are going to be having in the second part of this male size chart like i said i split the video because i don't want it to be too long and i hope you guys understand so once again thank you so much for watching if you have any question please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section and then let's move to the second part of this video bye